Perez Hilton made a name for himself ridiculing celebrities on his notorious gossip blog, PerezHilton.com. I would out celebrities. I would give people nasty nicknames. I didn't realize how hurtful I was. The big wake up call for me was in the fall of 2010. Perez found himself under fire after he spoke out against teen bullying. Critics called him a hypocrite who bullied others for a living. It really forced me to look in the mirror. I never thought of myself as a bully. I said then and there that I had to, to do things differently. Good boy. Over the last few months, I've been going through this very deep spiritual awakening. I feel like I'm seeing the world with new eyes. When I was being mean and nasty Perez, I was not only polluting the universe and putting toxic energy out there, but I was polluting my own space. And it wasn't until I stopped doing those things that I've had clarity of mind. The energy that you put out there is the energy you get back. And I feel like I just got all that. I just got it. People are going to be skeptical, and they should be. I can still do what I do. I can still talk about celebrities, but do it in a way that's not destructive. Nowadays, if I ask myself before I post anything, is what I'm about to post hurtful to anyone? Well, it's healthy. So what? What was it? What happened? Was there was there one moment? Was it something that somebody wrote it? The way they wrote it that hit that nerve for you? Um, you know, I think we're all the center of our own universe. Yeah. And it can be hard to be objective, even though we can work at it. So for a long time, I was in this bubble. I was in my own bubble, thinking that what I was doing was okay, and sort of disconnected with the real world and what people thought of me. But when I was speaking out about the gay teenagers committing suicide in the fall of 2010, I just heard it so loudly. You're a bully, you're a bully. How could you speak out against it when you're contributing to the downfall of America? That's what I felt. And that's the energy that I was getting. And it was a big wake-up call because I didn't view myself like that. I honestly didn't. I would justify my behavior by saying, well, it's a character I created. Perez isn't real. And that would let me sleep at night. But I realized a year and a half ago, and even more so now, that everything is connected and I can't disassociate myself from okay, myself. Okay, okay. I, I, can't, I was just, I'm so excited about doing this with you because, you know, people have said mean things about me over the years and perhaps maybe- I probably did. Y yes. Although I love Oprah. Okay. Yeah. I am an atheist. <laughs> I am. Thank you for saying that. But now, but this is the thing. I often wonder when people say, mean, terrible things, like biting, bitchy, mm -hmm. hard things that are meant just to, just literally to hurt people. How can you not think that what you're doing is going to affect the person you're writing about? In the past, I would tell myself, well, if they don't like what I write, they shouldn't read it. That's what I used to say. And I used to also say, yeah, I know what I'm saying is bad. I'm doing it on purpose. I want to get a rise out of my readers. I want them commenting. I want them to disagree with me. Mm -hmm. And that doesn't make it right, and it wasn't right, but that's what I would tell myself to help me sleep at night. And so that kind of bitchiness, that kind of nastiness came from where? I think it, I mean, it came from me. I have to take ownership of that. Yeah. Uh, my initial response was going to say, well, it came from the internet, because the internet kind of is a space that allows that and encourages that, but you need to take ownership of not just your thoughts, but your actions and your words and well, your yeah, energy. Particularly your actions. Yeah. 